For a very long time now, I have relied on Homeworld to give me my gem bases, but no more. Today, I craft my own gem bases. I think I have enough resources to start doing that. So let's see, I already have everything in my inventory. 39 emeralds, a bunch of redstone, and I have some more. A bunch of glowstone, and I don't have any more. So I hope, well, I, I guess I need only one glowstone for one gem base, which is fine. And let's see how much blaze powder I have. 14 blaze powder. So I think I will be limited by blaze powder mostly. And also 52 soul sand should be more than enough. Let's go. Three. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, you actually need four blaze powder for one inactive gem base. I thought you only need one. Well, <laughs> those are three gem bases. First three gem bases that I crafted myself and we're gonna inject them on top of those pillars as well in the end but first <laughs> look at this pearl so basically I actually made two name tags that said ender dot but one of these name tags something weird happened to it because when when I made it anvil broke so I had to make a new one but anvil broke and my pearl picked up the name tag i think i still don't know what happened but i couldn't find it after that and just now i noticed that this pearl's name somehow is ender dot <laughs> okay so let's uh, turn them into activated gem bases good and also where is my injector maybe yeah. pearl has it no Maybe my crystal gems pearl has it. Okay. Yes, chunk loader. Mm, just chunk loader though. Let's actually put this skull over here. Where is my injector? Well, I mean, I'm mostly concerned about incubator. Yes, okay, actually. <laughs> it's here. I just didn't notice it. Okay, let's go to the end. So I think those three pillars will be perfect for those injections. Okay, let's land on top of the first one. Uh, going in for the landing lapis? Good, good. And uh, hmm, can I inject it right in the middle? Like, can I place it on this block of bedrock? I think I can. Why not? <laughs> let's use soul sand to climb higher. Okay, this and that. And so, the first gem ever that I crafted gonna be injected real soon as soon as I make a lever oh no no what am I what am I doing okay I need one block in here but also need some of that and some of this all right first gem is being injected through the bedrock let's go injected nice let's do that to the rest of them and second injection is uh where is the lever? I picked it up. I'm yeah. sure I picked it up. Why is it here? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> and the second injection almost fell there. Completed. This one is actually too small to inject a jam. Let's inject it on top of this one. That was even closer <laughs> to me falling than the last time. All right, injector and uh, incubator. All right, all three gems injected. And let's also place this chunk loader right here. Set radius to four, that should be enough to cover this yeah. whole area. And let's get out of here to the overworld and I'll be back here later to see what gems I've got. There's three gem bases that I personally made. I wonder what they will produce and leave leave a comment with your guess as to what we will get from those injections. My guess will be, hmm, especially judging by the previous injections, at least one agate, one agate, but what else? We even got a peridot the last time and an aquamarine as well, hmm. But for some reason I have a feeling that there will be one pearl as well 
And I don't know why we didn't get any pearls before from those obsidian pillars, but I have a feeling. Okay, so one pearl, one agate, and maybe one... So my guess is two agates and one pearl. And also, uh, I want to try something right now. I don't really need nether war for anything, but let's see if parry dots can harvest it. And if they can, maybe I will use it for something. I think you can use it to make some potions, for example. Oh, look at those fancy blocks as well. And uh, yeah, you can just make them as a foundation for future potions. So I'm just gonna make a very small farm and see if Peridots will farm it. I can also use some fences to make sure that this Peridot isn't gonna be killed by mobs. And congratulations, Enderdot, you have been selected as... Than your average Peridot. No, <laughs> no, no, you're not. You're just as smart as any one of these countless dozens of clods I have on this mega farm. Well, no, I actually don't have that many, but yeah, you will be farming, <laughs> Ender Dot. Uh, please, sir, can you can you stand aside? Thank you. Okay, let me just build a little bit of something over here, and uh, I'm gonna put you in here, and let's see just how smart you are. Maybe an average Peridot can't harvest this, so let's see if you can. And also, I think you will need some instruments for that, so let me quickly make something for you. Okay, so uh, I will need some sticks and uh, some of that. There we go, Peridot. I have your instruments ready, right here. Alright, good luck. Um, this is not fully grown yet, so yeah, I will come back to you later. I hope I hope this little farm is in range of my other chunk loader that is within the mega farm. But we'll see, we'll see. And as you can see, I increased the security a little bit. I have this unexpected onyx here as well, because this forest is really, really dark at night, and a lot of mobs spawn in here and if some of those mobs are creepers they can even cause a lot of damage but now unexpected make sure that mobs just don't don't go in here which is nice so now we pretty much have two things that we are waiting on the gems in the end and also peridot on top to see if she'll harvest things. So I think I will use this opportunity to spend a little bit of time digging in here. As you can see, I didn't do a single thing to work on this room. I didn't do any digging, but I will do some digging right now. And of course, I hope you watched all, all of my previous videos and so you know exactly what I'm planning to do with this room so okay let me just grab this iron i actually really really need it so uh, that's good seven blocks and let me just dig for a little while and then somewhere around here i think i'm gonna start turning to the left and i might actually do something fancy i just got this idea of maybe not having this room just be a perfect square but maybe have have some kind of a curve in here, but this is something I can do later on. For now, let's just make the general shape of this room. And I actually don't remember the exact size it needs to be. Oh, look at how beautiful this world is. Look at this beautiful mega farm and the roaming eye as well. Uh, looking good, but what I wanted to take a look at is caves. Yeah, so can't really see this this small tunnel that I'm digging. So I think I'm just gonna dig for uh, for a very long time and then I'm gonna go on the other side and dig in this direction, so... So hopefully now I over dig. I will dig too much so that... Oh, wait. So that I can then uh, reach it from the other side. Let's see what we got in here. It's a cave and actually looks like 
a cave that I didn't explore before. That's a new thing in here. I haven't seen any new caves in quite a while. Although to be honest, it might have something to do with me not looking for any new caves. But okay, let me grab this iron. I'm really, really running out of it. I don't need that though, and I don't need this. Okay. Okay, there's some more iron in here. Okay, and down there there is either a torch or some lava. In any case, I got what I wanted. No torch. Come back here. Okay, and let's put one block in here as well. Okay, I think that's more than enough, so let me quickly just go on the other side. I'm just gonna quickly connect those tunnels, and then we'll go and check what we've got in the end. Wow. <laughs> I was actually just one block away from this ravine. Hmm, this is actually not good. And at the same time, it's kind of good. I mean, I can make it look good. I can put some glass in here and we will have quite a view, huh? So for now, I'm just gonna keep digging. And some more iron. Oh, yes. Okay, there we go. Yes, I made this tunnel way too big. But that's exactly what I wanted to do to make sure that I will connect to it from this side. So yeah, mission accomplished. Let's quickly go back. Uh, I guess I'm gonna check on my Peridot first and then go to the end. Alright Peridot, show me what you got. Let's see. Okay, this is still on 33%. This is on 67%. Hmm, so it might be that none of this nether ward matured yet. It's not fully grown yet, so I'll give you another chance, Ender Dot. I think I'll check on you maybe in the next episode. But for now, let's go to the end and see what gems we've got. And I wonder if I was right with my predictions. And I wonder if you were right with your predictions in the comments. Which I'm, I'm sure you left your prediction, right? And of course, if you're enjoying the series, don't forget to leave a like as well. And let's try to reach 300 likes on this video. That will be amazing. 300 likes for three new gems that we are about to get. So, the first gem. The gem with the chunk loader. No, actually, I injected that one first, but... It doesn't really matter. Let's see what we've got in here. Yeah, we've got an agate here. <laughs> and that's a Zimbabwe agate. That's the first one. It, she actually looks just like Onyx agate, but she's not Onyx. <laughs> okay, welcome to the team. You will not be shattered. You are a very unique gem. Yeah. Why would I shatter you? That's the first Zimbabwe agate I got. So let me also get this chunk loader. The gem actually looks distinctly different. And I think yeah. she might look different from Onyx as well. It's just a, just a tiny little bit different. Okay, let's see. The second gem is... Oh no, don't tell... Oh... I thought this hole was just one block, Is this a weapon? and I was afraid that it was Aquamarine, but no, it's another Peridot. Welcome to the team, let me quickly get you out of there. Yeah. Oh no! Makes any sense. <laughs> Lapis jumps in front of this Peridot to save its life. Well, I mean... Oh, why do you keep destroying my <laughs> Peridot's life is not in danger, Lapis. Yes. Okay, okay, let's get out of here. And see, the third gem is another honey agate. I said there's gonna be two agates, and there is two agates. Honey agate? Okay, <laughs> Lapis. You should really stop doing that. Okay, let me get this agate. Welcome to the team, yes. Lapis. <laughs> we gotta have a serious talk with you. But that's it for this episode, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.